Hey guys, so today we'll be talking about three mistakes that every film photographer make. So these mistakes are fairly common and majority of us will have made it at some point in time. So I'm going to share about my mistakes as well uh, throughout this video and we can learn together. Let's go. Number one, not loading your film properly. It seems so easy to pop a lot of film in your camera and be on your way. However, the basic concept of loading a roll of 35 film is relatively uniform. While there are some variations to different cameras, it's more or less the same. But certain variations are subtle enough to throw you off your game. Generally, you insert the film cartridge on one side, usually the left, and pull the film reader across to the right making sure it catches the sprocket and attach it to the take-up spool. Close the door and wind it to the first frame. So one instance of this happening would be when I first got my Rolly 35D camera, I was so excited to shoot with this that I forgot to load it properly. So I didn't realize that the film was stuck in the film camera and therefore I spent an entire roll shooting thinking that I had the shots I wanted but when I came back to develop it, there was nothing there and I only realised it when I was trying to unload the film that it was all scrunched up and I didn't have a good shot so basically the entire roll was wasted, the entire day out was wasted The second mistake would be not checking whether you have film in the camera. So there are times where you have finished your roll of film and you did not rewind it and over time you really forget that whether there's any film inside. So when you do want to open it up, you unknowingly expose most of your shots to the light which means that it will be destroyed because of the light entering into the back of the camera. So Try not to do that because you will have wasted all your hard work and it will be very unfortunate. So I myself have done it and it has resulted in some light leaks in my pictures. Uh, some of them turned out quite nicely, some of them did not. So I'll show you some pictures. So the third mistake is making sure that you have the correct ISO in your camera. So if you are shooting 400 ISO, you should make sure that you are exposing for 400 ISO. And one way to remember is to, you can either tear away this tab here, and slide it into the camera. Most cameras have this uh, tab here that you can keep it in, so that you know what ISO you are shooting on. And the camera as well here, some cameras would have this, you can set it automatically so that you can remember what ISO you're shooting on. And this helps tremendously so that you do not make the mistake of shooting and underexposing your, your shots. So, so here are some of my shots that I have actually messed up because I was shooting on the wrong ISO or underexposing my photos. If you like the video, Please like and subscribe. Thank you.